Let's try to configure a UPS 1600 with CTOP Manager in under three minutes. Today on Tech for Techie, we're going to do a quick config of a UPS system. Can I set up my UPS system in under three minutes? Let's give it a shot. With CTOP Manager, we can get the UPS system configured quickly and up and running with a PC shutdown very fast. But let's show how we can do that using default values for a standard system. So what I have is a CTOP Manager installation. I've installed all three um, uh, services. That's the CTOP Manager, which will be coordinating the shutdown, the gateway service, which will be using as an intermediary for the UPS USB version, and the shutdown service, which will be configured to shut down this PC. We want to begin with CTOP Manager. We're going to open it up. Now this is a fresh install, so I'm going to be using a lot of the default uh, passwords. Uh, something we do recommend that you do change when you have a final system, but today we're really focusing on keeping this installation, uh, uh, getting this installation up and running as fast as possible. So uh, for the admin user account, the default password is admin. We're going to continue on. I already noticed that it's on German, so I'll quickly quick that, switch that to English. Uh, here I'll cancel the option to change my password for now. English. And what we're going to do is now right go to online connections. I'm going to select my current uh, network uh, adapter, which is the wireless connection I have on my PC. On that connection, all my services will be available. So we found my gateway service, which is hosting my UPS 1600, as we can see there, and my shutdown service for my PC. So we're going to add those. Again, defaults for the admin account is just a simple admin password, and we're going to keep the standard OPC waveports. So we're going to continue. These devices have now been added. They're communicating. That's been showing with the little uh, orange uh, excla exclamation mark. And we're going to start with the UPS. Now, first thing I notice, okay, this is the right UPS. It's sitting in front of me. That's the same picture I'm seeing on the right-hand side to me with a, a single UPS battery. We're going to jump right to the base unit control because that's kind of your, your initial uh, settings. What we recommend is for a PC shutdown to go for a threshold voltage of 21.5 volts. We're going to lower this down to five minutes because that'll be fully sufficient for my PC. Uh, any kind of modern PC uh, doesn't need much more than five minutes to prepare itself for shutdown. Um, the additional buffer time after shutdown, we're going to leave at 60 seconds. Um, if you have a particularly slower PC or older PC, we do recommend upping, upping this value up to maybe 120 or 180 seconds. Um, and for the rest, the, the default values are actually sufficient. So we're going to sit and save those files. Uh, that. What's good is here, it shows a quick little uh, indication that this download was successful. And that pretty much covers it for the UPS 1600. All the other default settings regarding communication or security can be left as, uh, as, uh, as the default values. Now we notice there's a small exclamation mark here and that's showing us that the shutdown service, the service that is responsible for shutting down the PC, is in need of uh, some parameterization. So let's click on this device and it'll bring us right to the screen showing us what needs to be done. Now there are two options. We recommend that you uh, coordinate the shutdown of the PC via CTOP Manager. Um, this is because uh, the CTOP Manager has the ability to monitor the connection between all the different aspects, for instance, the USB connection, and create um, a notifications or, uh, or, or events from these uh, statuses. So what we're going to do is uh, list which devices we'd like to assign this shutdown service to, to the uh, USB device. And we see here the gateway service USB, that is our UPS 1600 device we have over there. So we're going to select, wait a second, we're going to select that one. And now this is an important step. We need to give the shutdown service the right to shut down this PC via CTOP manager. So what we're going to do by doing that is giving it the permission by re-logging into our CTOP manager. So it's the same CTOP manager password we use to log in with the admin account. We're going to save in this field here. And we're going to download that. And if that's successful, which it does is it verifies, speaks to the UPS and the shutdown service, and shows that it's connected. The first indication will be on our, shut, our system tray. And you've seen that the, uh, the icon has gone from yellow to green, indicating that it's connected. And likewise, here, we've shown that it's, it's also been connected. So now there is a connection established between our UPS device, which is being connected with the gateway service, together with the shutdown service. And this is all being coordinated from the CTOP manager. 
So what we're looking for is three green lights on your system tray and showing the system is now protected. And we did it. That's the system configured. From this point, we can go into further advanced options in tweaking our or engineering our shutdown for our specific application. Siemens, ingenuity for life.